Hello. So, whoa. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out why my camera keeps unfocusing. Because I don't really know. But, uh, but maybe if I just sit absolutely still. Maybe. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's, what is today? It's actually my brother's birthday today. It's, uh, August 14th. Tuesday. Today was kind of a meh day. Um, kind of coming to the realization that I'm struggling more than I like to admit. Um, with the whole job, uh, search thing. Um, I mean, the problem, the biggest problem, problem I'm having right now is, I don't know what I want to do, you know? I mean, I spent 11 years with the same company being very good at what I did and I had no intention of ever leaving. Um, I don't have an education. Um, I don't really have much of an interest in um, going back to school. Um, just, But I also feel it's just a terrible place to be because you know that you're smart and you know that, you know, you're not, you know that you're capable of doing all kinds of things, but your story, you know, your history, the things that um, created, you know, I should say me, um, kind of led up to this point, you know? And it all kind of lines up, and now I am just kind of lost, you know? I mean, I get calls, you know, I apply for everything. I have good intentions, you know? I apply for, you know, grocery stores and retails. I have never worked a day in my life in retail or, like, a restaurant or, you know, fast food or anything like that. I've never done anything like that. I have no desire to do anything like that. Um, and my anxiety increasingly goes up when I don't want to do that. You know, do, do I do something that I know I'm going to be unhappy doing just to pay the bills? I should. I should, and I may still, probably will, because I don't know what else <laughs> I'm going to do. Um, I've, I mean, it's been, I, I haven't worked in six months. I mean, not really. I mean, you know, I did that one job for a few weeks that it didn't even get through training before I had such a panic attack that, um, yeah. But, oh, I think it has something to do with my, the background when it, I don't know. It just randomly likes to be blurry. Um, but yeah, I got a call today from, I had applied a few weeks ago for a store called Tuesday Morning. A great store. I love the store. I mean, I've been a, 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 a customer for a long time. And I got a call. You know, they're like, hey, you still want to work here or whatever? Give me a call. And I he was like, crap. No. I don't want to work there. Um, crap. I'm 40 years old. Uh, almost 300 pounds. Um, 
so yeah, I'm not sure physically or even mentally if I would be conditioned enough to have that type of job. But it, I'm, I find I find myself in like a real, you know, caught in the corner kind of uh, thing. Is I have to do it. I have to do something. But every time something comes up, I feel anxious because I guess I'm scared. I don't know. Um, it's the unknown. Um, pretty much the only time. I mean, I'm I'm anxious and I'm stressed pretty much most of the time. But um, I think the only time that I get overwhelmed is when I have to think about doing something that I don't know the unknown but anyway this is going to have to be something I uh, talk about in therapy <laughs> I am what a therapist would consider uh, someone with a learned helplessness which you'll, you hear that and you're like I am not you know I've taken care of myself for you know 20 years and um, but Right now, I am in a place that I feel helpless. And um, I feel like I've set myself up for this moment, you know? Anyway. Yep. What am I going to do, y'all? I don't know. I'm trying to stay positive and strong and, um, but it's hard. I mean, if Bo weren't around, I'm not so sure I'd still be sitting here talking to you. I mean, he has been probably the best thing, you know, and people don't understand that you know I know that my family don't like him I see it I know it I'm not stupid you know <laughs> my mom tries you know she but she's my mom you know she's very compassionate and she's very um, accepting I think and she tries to see the best of people um, and my dad, he just doesn't say much of anything to anybody. So who knows what he's thinking. But, I mean, there's some friction there, but they don't know, you know. They don't live here. I mean, I know that this is chaos. I know that that the way that we live is um, seems a little bit, you know, screwy. I mean, you have seven dogs. Maybe there might be some issues there. And there is. <laughs> I'm not trying to hide that, you know. I mean, he's got his, you know, things that are unhealthy. And I've got mine. And somehow it just works, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really do anybody any harm I help him he helps me we just kind of fit together you know but yet we're two completely different people I mean um, I mean we're like polar opposites sort of I mean I don't know I don't even know what I'm saying anymore um, I mean, he has opinions on things that I totally and 100% disagree with, and he knows it. I mean, we don't hide how we feel. I'm just the type of person that... I'm very open-minded, and I'm very... Um, very slow to judge. I, I don't... I don't think that everybody is going to have the same opinion 
I don't think everybody has to have the same opinion. Um, everyone is entitled to how they feel. And um, who the hell am I to tell them what they should or shouldn't do or believe? That's not to say that you shouldn't be passionate about something or, or you shouldn't want to try and bring goodness and, and peace and, you know, these people who go in and they fight things, you know, um, we need that because there are things that definitely need to change. Um, but when I look at somebody on the other side of the debate, I just see a somebody I don't, who I happen to disagree with. And, um, I think so much today is anger, you know, let it go a little bit, let it just be compassionate to one another, love each other, um, be strong in what you believe, but at the same time know that, you know, these other people who disagree are people. And that's a discussion that Bo and I actually kind of got into today before he had to go to work was about judgment and um, how I felt about it. And we don't agree on it. <laughs> we we don't agree on it at all. Um, you know, I, I'm like, you know, of course he he debates me and, you know, he's right. Some of the things he's right. And, and I, I give him that credit, but... I don't think it's not going to change me. It's not going to change how I feel or what I believe. Um, but he's got valid points. I think I have valid points. You know, one of the one of my arguments is is you know, a person is not their behavior. You know, and that he had no concept of that. He you know. If you do something bad, then you are bad. And that's not, I mean, that's not necessarily true. And that's, I don't think, should be the end of somebody's story, you know, because everybody does something bad in their lifetime, you know. Everybody chooses a, uh, a, a bad behavior, Um but that doesn't make that person bad. Now, if they continue to, to choose that behavior, um, they're the ones who pay the consequence to that, you know. Um, and yes, I do believe <laughs> um, if you kill somebody or if you abuse a child, um, that type of bad behavior you deserve the consequences for behaving in, a, in that way, and you should. Um, I just, I have this really weird way of being able to separate a person from, you know, what they do. Because I, first of all, I know what it's like to be judged um, on on a lot of different um levels, um, for all sorts of different reasons, you know, everybody does, everybody's been judged, but I don't know, I guess, I don't like it, I don't like to be judged from the outside, um, now if I have a bad behavior and you judge me, then I probably deserve to be judged, mm -hmm. But this whole judging somebody for how they look or what they do as a job or, you know, what what is their GPA in college, you know, it, those are stupid things. I mean, they're not stupid things, but they're stupid things to judge somebody on because those are just, some of them aren't things that you can control and some of them are. Um, I can, if I wanted to control the fact that I am a large person, I can. But to this point, I have chosen a bad behavior, and I will eventually pay the consequences for that. 
And, um, but I don't like being judged for it because, you know, that's not who I am. And, um, I don't know. That's just how I feel about that. Yep. Just be kind. That's really all. I want everyone to just be kind. And understand that some people who do bad things, there's a reason for it. And that doesn't take away their... Hang on. Accountability. But it does... bring a little bit more humanity back into it. I think I... Some people just are hurt, broken, sick. You know, we don't know their story. And I, even though, you know, you watch on the news something horrible happening, you know, to somebody or, you know, my compassion, of course, goes to a victim. You know, I've been a victim before. Um, but I don't immediately, very rarely, now that, I won't say that I never have, um, but very rarely have I ever, you know, said, you know, that, that person must just be evil. Um, maybe you have to be in the presence of evil to know what it is, but... I know that a person can do bad things and still be a person, still be a human being. And that's why I have a hard time being somebody who is for, like, the death penalty. Even though I sort of am. Um, I have a tr- I'm on the fence, I guess. I don't really believe in it, but at the same time... If you're somebody who is that ill and is somebody who is that toxic to society and hurts, hurts people, has hurt a lot of people, you know, that just might have to be your consequence. And, um, I think that's awful. And, but I didn't make those choices for that person Anyway, I'm very close to the camera. I'm sorry. You see my big old face. So that's that's pretty much where my head's at right now. I've just been spending a lot of time thinking about that. So I'm going to go because, you know, I ramble. That's all I do. That's like, that's my job now because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> anyway, y'all be good. Be kind. Be compassionate be understanding but also protect yourself you know <laughs>